then you have to have thinking. Uh, thinking is the main theme of, of, of Tai Chi practice. The main theme of Tai Chi practice is work on the relaxation and the thinking. If you work on the relaxation, no thinking, you do not have stability in the movement. Okay? You will not have relaxed force. You will not have sticking. You will not have uh, neutralizing. You will have yielding, falling without sticking and neutralizing. Okay? That's so why it's quite misleading if you just tell the students, just relax, you, know, you relax, everything will come in place. Not, that's not true. Okay, relaxing is the foundation. But relax, after relaxation, you must learn to synchronize the whole body so you move as one. Okay, relaxation must have both whole body synchronizations. <coughs> okay, you must have thinking to give you the stability, uh, then you have balance, you are centered, uh, then you have the art of tightening. Okay, relaxation without stability, without whole body synchronize, that doesn't give you relaxed force. The relaxed force comes from the thinking and relaxed force is cultivated in the Tai Chi form. It's not cultivated in the push hand. Push hand is tell you how to use that force. Okay, so uh, uh, it's just like uh, uh, electricity only comes when you properly assemble the generator. Electricity doesn't come just from buying the electrical appliances. You must have that so that when you have the appliances, then you have to use the appliances. Okay. So every time I teach this, it's just relax and sing. You know, relax and sing. Remember, these are the main theme in Tai Chi. Like I said before, you know, the last lesson he gave me is he write on my palm, relaxations and sinking. Tai Chi relaxation and sinking. Okay. So the more I go through it, that's what I experience. That is the foundation of Tai Chi. Okay. Every movement is whole body synchronization. So you must synchronize yourself first. If your own timing is not there, how can you synchronize the other person? Okay. If your own, you don't have own stability, you can't maintain a center of equilibrium, how can you maintain it when the person is affecting you? So it's all about you. That's what the Tai Chi classic means. Most forget what is near, look for what is far. It's you yourself. Okay, the form is where you cultivate your own time. And when you have a mistake in the partner work, the mistake is originated from the form. We have to go to the form, look for the mistake in the form and correct it in the form. Okay, so much so that my teacher says, uh, he said that, by looking at a person doing the form, you know how he will move in his push hands. Okay. But the problem in, in, in most psychic practitioners is okay, and they can do the form very fine. Okay, but when they go into the final world, they think it's something different. So they forget to synchronize the body the way the forms they do in the forms. Okay, so if you are doing it differently, how can you, how can you uh, expect it to work? Right, it's just like if I, 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 I learn my alphabet very well. Okay, I know how to write ABC very nicely. Okay, I learn how to write the English, spell the English word very nicely. Okay, but when I go, go into the writing the English sentence, I don't follow the order of the writing, the grammatic order, and then people don't understand what I'm talking about. It's the same thing. Uh, they, uh, do, I, I know how to spell how, I know how to spell ah, I know how to spell you. Okay? Then I cannot say you are how. You can't. It's the same thing here. Okay, so I want you to go to the form, experience and feel the movement. Okay? It's not that relaxation is not important. Huh? If relaxation is not important, young term phone, keep telling Chen Manjing, relax, relax. Chen Manjing won't keep telling my teacher, relax, relax. It is important. It's the foundation. Without relaxation, you don't have thinking. Okay, without relaxation, you don't have agility. 
then you won't have the whole, you will not be able to have whole body synchronization. Okay, but relaxation alone doesn't give uh, things. Okay. In the classic, you say, it, at the moment of movement, you must be light and agile. Means you must be relaxed. Relaxation will give agility. Okay, relaxation, agility. Chinese call it qing ling. Qing means light, means relax. Ling means agility. Then agility gives you whole body synchronization. Okay. Uh, agility enables you to be light. light Lively, okay. That's why it's a ling huo. Ling huo, agility huo is lively. Okay. It's only you have agility and uh, life, you are lively, then you can learn to synchronize the whole body as one. Okay. Without that, you can't. So, so, relaxation is a foundation. Okay. Synchronize the body as one, but you have to know understand the sequence of how you should synchronize. In Tai Chi, the sequence is always the base initiate, the body unfolds, the base changes. The German thing say, the movement are initiated from the base, the arm, the body and arm just follow the base changes. And my teacher says, if there's no initiation movement in the base, there should not be movement in the body and arms. Okay, so you have to know the sequence and get the sequence to change in relation to each other. Uh, then you, you, it's the whole body synchronization. Okay, that's why in the in the Chan 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 Tai Chi classic, you say the move at the moment of movement it should be light and agile, and the movement be connected. Connected means they are changing in relation to each other, not one after another in relation, so they move in relation, so they're connected, okay? Now, thinking is a mental process, okay? It's not, I think, this is thinking, going, this, no. This is bending, bending down, not thinking. Thinking is a mental process where you allow the relaxing feeling to flow through the structures into the ground <coughs> under the feet. Okay, but it flows through the structures, okay? The muscle must relax. Okay, with a melting sensation, the body must relax and melting sensations. Okay, then your sinking can go through and goes in the ground under the feet. Okay. My teacher uh, said that you must have this movement in your body when you practice. He let me feel his legs and my, let me feel his body. When I feel this, the muscle just like melting down. Okay. And then he says, don't force it to happen. Visualize it, imagine it happen. So use the mind to feed the body this information. And when the body receives the information, you can experience it. When you first experience it, you are very happy. Oh yeah, I can feel that. But then you try to feel it again, it's not there. Because you try too much. Okay, so slowly the consistent became, slowly the consistent see it again. Okay, so you must have that melting sensations in order to have a sinking to take the force down. Okay, now if uh, checking you come here, see. So what you feel in my body when I move is put in my thigh in my body, I don't just relax as one whole block. Mass in the legs, mass in the body relax. So when it goes back, I don't just sit back as one whole block. Mass in the legs, mass in the body relax. If I sit back, you push into me. If I sit back as one whole block, this is what you feel. Okay, if I'm not in sense, then this is what I feel. So that does make a difference. Okay? Thanks. In a way, I'm lucky that my teacher let me feel so I know what is happening, I can visualize what's happening. But if that is still relaxing, you, you, it's, very abstract, it's very abstract. So you have to have, to have this kind of feeling right through the whole form. Whether you're releasing, sitting back, every moment when you start to move, you must have this kind of feeling. 
Okay, so when you have that kind of feeling of relaxation, that your feeling is see every time you go in position your feeling is this kind of feeling. So when someone push into you, your feeling is not your feeling is see pushing is not this way you resist, this way we accept. Accept it. Okay, so you have to get them in the form. Okay, now how you practice relax force? Relax force is not, I go in, I do this, I go in, I do this. No. If you do the form, you do this, then you do the pushing, you also do this. No. When it goes into position, the force you release through the legs and stretch the fingertips. So, what is a relaxed force? Relaxed force is the whole body relaxed as one. Okay, connected. Okay. In, in Chinese, they say, borrow the energy from the earth. Okay. Borrow the energy from the earth. Another word for the relaxed force in Chinese is, is Di Jing, the force from under, under the ground. The force from under the ground. So when you practice, <coughs> when you practice uh, the release, it's not why I don't push and I practice the release. No, the release, you should have forced to practice in the form already. You sink in the ground under the feet. And you visualize <coughs> the sinking rebounds from the feet to release the body to the fingertips. You imagine the same fingertips. Visualize it. And when you first work on that is, you go in positions, you absorb the force, you sink in position, then you release. Okay, as you get better, you should try to sink in transitions, into positions, in the release. So, you learn how to issue the force out. Okay, so if I do the form, uh, Roland, come. So if I do the form, okay, you follow with a sinking, sitting back with a sinking, you have yielding and neutralizing. So you push in here. Okay, this both. Hmm. This is yielding, no neutralizing. You have sinking, yielding, neutralizing, follow the sticking, release. Yielding, neutralizing, follow the sticking, release. So you are actually breaking the roots as you follow. And then you release. If the root is not broken. If I go back and go in and we just not broken, why I push? I don't push and I have something there. Okay, as long as you have a force on your body, you don't think of pushing because you're not completely in substantial. You still have substantiality, then there's double heaviness. As long as you feel a force is on your body, that means you didn't complete empty the force. Okay, so you go in, like you do the form, you sink in, then you release. Okay, so you absorb, sink in, and release. Then in the end is, release and sinking is one. In the end, release and sinking is one. Okay, this comes from the form. Okay, in, 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 in the refined form, you are working on release, and uh, new, neutralizing release as one. That's, re, that's what refined form is. Okay, but in the short form, you go and put, you, absorb, you learn to absorb the force and release the force. So every release in the form that you practice, you are practicing the issue of the force. Okay, but you, and then you notice that you never go into the release until everything is in position. So you never go into the release until everything is in position. Then you release. Okay, so when you do the fixed pushing and the same thing, you go into position, then you release. After release, you follow. Okay, the release finish at this moment. Okay, so you don't go into release, then you push again. So you never think of pushing. You are going to position the release. When you sit back, you're absorbing the force. In the form, you use a base initiate, you also use a base initiate the hip, you don't turn from the upper body. Okay, here you use the base to initiate the hips, you don't turn from the upper body. So whatever thing you do, in the form you do in the part of work. Okay, Hannah can move. Okay, I want you to watch my hips movement from the back, my hip movement in the double push. Okay. 
with consciously aware the hips to turn. Square and goes in, the hips to turn. Square and goes back, the hips to turn. Goes in, the hips to turn in the following. Okay, this is why you observe the, at the back if my hip is turn, turning. Okay, you do this, this is wrong. Okay, you follow this way is wrong. Okay, so it's the base with the hips. The base move the hips. Okay, then you look at the side view, how I move. Okay, when I go back, I don't go this way. The base move back. Okay, when I go forward, I don't go this way. The base moves. See, the base, back legs goes back. Back legs goes, base goes in, release. So, if I do this, it's wrong. Then you do this, it's wrong. See? And then you wash my arms. I'm going to position, release the force. Oh, release the force. I don't think of pushing. Okay, this is pushing. So pay attention to that. The moment you release, they turn. If both in push hands, is, even if you push hands, if both of you become one and join each other, nobody will have a chance to push. Because I have one. It's only when the person is not in one and disconnected.